Hello everyone, welcome back to another 3D log animation tutorial. So in this video, we are going to create black gold log animation using Adobe After Effects and 11 3D. So before starting this tutorial, if you are new to my channel, then please make sure to subscribe and like this video. So now let's get started the video. For this video, I'm going to use this stock footage. So you can download all of them um, from the link in video description. For this time, let's import this glow video with us in Adobe After Effects and then let's create new composition i am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel then going with 25 frame rate per second and 20 second duration then hit ok now let's create a new solid i am going to rename it to logo mask you can use any text here instead of logo but for this tutorial i am going to use logo then hit ok now back to illustrator and copy your logo go to edit copy back to after effects then select this logo mask go edit and select paste by the way you can import your logo to after effects and then just make it auto trace and you can hide it now right click and create another solid rename it to 11 3d hit ok now select this glow illumination and drag it to timeline then Turn off this from here, select element 3D, go to wave effect from here, select video couplet and select element. Now go to custom layers from custom texture map, select layer 1, and from here, select go glow texture. Close it now, select custom text mask from here, select our logo mask. If you using text, you can also use your text from here close this now just click on the same setup option so it will open our 11 3d interface here so from here turn off this grid and click on this extrude so our 3d logo is here now go to tessellation and from here path resolution select extreme now select this change this to 0.15 then go to bevel segment make it 16 maybe and bevel curve make it something like this go to preset and let's drop this to here okay now again click extrude select this make it 0.25 maybe make this something like this select perspective and from here select top let's adjust it okay again back to perspective now again apply this to here select this make it 32 okay make it something like this then name it to logo base now again click extrude let's drag this to something like this point now select this uh, also make it to extreme and this also extreme select this make it point uh, seven five i think now select gold pattern and apply it to here now select this click on this and then back to your downloaded folder and from here select this gold normal and then apply it to normal bump and from here select gold glossy and drop this to glossiness from here select the gold this and apply it to population now select this then go to UV mapping make it to 10 also make it 10 now click here let's drag it to something like this I think this will be good now select this 
rename it to gold pattern and again click on extrude drag this to here go to tessellation also make it to extreme and then go to top view from here let's adjust it something like this perspective select this and then apply this glow rename it to glow now select this go to texture and from illumination select this glow make saturation minus 100 percent then hit ok now for normal bump go to here select glow normal drag it to after effects and apply to normal bump and change this amount to 132 then hit ok now click on this glow go to uv mapping uv repeat 30.65 make it 62 make it 0.37 and this 0.33 so this is good i think now again create another extrude drag it to here select this click here and make it something like this click here and make it with something like this make it 0 0.04 then drag it to here and let's apply this gold to this point select this rename it and rename it to gold hit ok duplicate it and bring it to here again now again click here and drag this to something like this point also make this to extreme and change its size to 0.75 drag this to here and let's adjust something like this okay now go to presets from here apply this then go to texture from custom layer select this and apply it to normal bump and for glossiness select this and apply it to here and select this go to uv mapping again make it 10 and also this to 10 rename it to logo top black now again extrude drag this to something like this point click here select this click here turn on this bevel outline then click here bevel segment 32 bevel depth i think 16 and extrude something like this select this bevel size little bit decrease 0.45 and select this and then apply this to here and 
then name it to logo top hit ok now let's create the background from here click on create select this plane model go to transform and orientation select minus 90 and size make it 85 by 85 now let's adjust it okay now select this and apply this black metal to here then go to this folder and apply this texture to here and this to normal bump now select this go to UV mapping again and make it 26 by 26 so select this glow and go to UV mapping like this gold and UV mapping make it 22 by 16 or 17 Now select environment, make it 3.29 and make it 29, make it 2.14, maybe 1, something like this, hit OK. OK, now just hit OK. So our logo is here. Now let's create a new camera right click new select new camera i'm going to use 24 mm then hit ok now select this press ctrl d duplicate this camera dragging this to below all of this then turn off this for this time now select this camera 2 and from here select this orbit tool and let's rotate it something like this and now let's zoom it let's make it something like this let's drag this to here and zoom it little bit then press P and shift A create a keyframe go to around 5 second then let's drag this to Now select this, press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate here. Press U, delete all of this keyframe from here. Then let's drag this logo to something like this point. Let's zoom out. Now again press P and Shift A, create a keyframe here, go to around 10 second and then drag this to here. Now again select this, press Ctrl Shift D, go to around 15 second, cut it here, select this, press U, delete all of them keyframe from here.
okay now back to the 11th ready then go to render setting from here click on ambient occlusion turn on it and from here set it to intensity to 8 so this is the animation hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and don't forget to like this video thank you so much for watching i'll be back with you soon